Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading, general reading for the month of June. Okay, I'm seriously having a lighting problem with these lights. Um, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. I'm back on camera, right? So um, you guys let me know how last month went with that reading of you seeing the cars and that sort of a thing. I, a lot of people wants me to be on camera also with the cards. But I like to show the deck because sometimes it triggers for a lot of people information if you see the layer of the card. So I'm going to see how I'm going to do this month because a lot of people want me to be in the camera. But I want to basically show the energy of a card. I don't like to take the camera, so I might take the camera to the side um, to show the energy of what is about to come in. Now, this is a general reading for the month of June. Um, June is a balanced month. This is a new deck that I'm using, and it's um, a beginner's guide deck from uh, Julia Charmin Borg. Okay, so this is the deck that I'm using. It's a, um, it's a wonderful deck. I picked it up at Barnes & Noble. I just think it was... Um, it, it somehow... I like the energy of the box it's purple one of my favorite um, color but not only that there were other decks that I wanted and I just I just find that it's just very overpriced okay um, I think a tower this is a tool like a book um, that is like $40 and I'm thinking really serious okay but um, I think if information is supposed to be given or is there a tool to help other people, I don't see why a tarot deck is going to cost over $35 or $35. It's my opinion, so don't take it personally. So this is what the deck looks like. It's a beautiful deck. I so align with this sort of energy. I think I have another deck that has this look also because I'm sure that there's another spiritual deck that I have and I love working with that deck also if you check out my phone of readings I think that deck is coming up it's the mystic um, Tara deck or something like that but it has the same this is the same energy of the card so I have not yet done a review of this card I wanted to use it in this month and then I'm going to review it afterwards to see um, what it is the energy of this month is balance it is um, the energy of uh, um, this is the Virgo month. This is a month for the Virgos where a lot of you could be receiving assistance from the Virgos to bring balance in your life. This is the month of June 2019. Please remember to like, share, sub subscribe, subscribe. Remember that all of um, the zodiac, um, all of the zodiac, all 12 zodiacs. Uh, 13 zodiac signs there is always an extended reading and you can use the link on the this video to get to the extended reading there's no extended general readings there's only extended readings for the um the um the, the zodiac signs okay so always pick up your extended reading just a dollar 99 you can use your email if you have a paypal account you can use your email address and my email address which you will see at the bottom of this which is katicon.com to order your reading it's just a dollar 99 okay so it is an earth energy month this is good this is spring and balance this is a positive month especially for the virgos there is so much positivity that is going to be coming out in a month for you virgos so this is going to be good it's going to be positive it's going to be a month of alignment um it's bringing back balance some of you have to find inner peace to bring back certain energies and certain balance in your life so be aware of this okay so what is happening and what is transpiring um we are going to use um, the energy of uh, the Arcanus, uh, the archetype, uh, to, to bring out the energies in the reading. And as we go and we're going deeper and we're going to be explaining the reading going forward with the other energies, the major Arcanus we're going to be using, and then um, the Minda Arcana. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here. This is a general reading always check out your zodiac energy vibration check out your full moon and your sun and moon 
um, energy check out the readings also for your twin flame soulmate or whoever you're in a relationship for so let's move in and check out what is coming up so I've already called in the light beams um, and um, Archangel Michael Master Elmore please stand in my uh, aura as we are about to give out this message okay something came out um, there is a transition that is coming um, whatever this transition is um, this month is bringing in a transition transition um, to the Empress okay so um, this is two earth energies and uh, this is really positive um because the the energy of the month is the energy of you bringing back balance in your life so if some of you were suffering from um your normality of your financial stability and that sort of a thing um which is out of alignment that sort of a thing you're going to be realizing that a transition is coming in and this is going to be good so let's say that you your financial situation was out of alignments for you guys in this month of june this is going to be realigning this is a general reading so check out to see what is the energy that is coming up for you guys and whatever um this is um also if um you were unable to bring in positive energies especially in a nurturing sense you are going to be regaining this sort of energy vibration because like sometimes things are so out of balance that you forget to nurture yourself and the people around you and um let me take my glasses off and what is going to be transpiring is that you're great it's going to be returning so let's look at the general energies to see what is coming up um in the first week um, we have the energy of the tower so something is abruptly something is um, abruptly going to be happening um, it could be also disaster and um, disaster it could be a disaster that is coming up I got this it could be a disaster that is coming up but whatever is coming in the first week of June is um, something unexpectedly is going to be released out of your life okay um, this is the energy of a fire energy so the first week is going to be a fire energy and I'm really I'm, I'm receiving disaster worldwide like in multiple country there is something as disaster that is going to be happening okay um, disasters can be accident plane crash um, uh, train crash metro crash but huge disaster where people are being thrown so be aware of this then in the second week we have the energy of the Emperor in the second week we have the energy of the Emperor whatever the situation is whatever that is working whatever that is transpiring um, we have the energy of the Emperor so there could be an end and unexpectedly end to a situation with authority where um, uh, it, it, it can be um, and, and this is what I'm saying to a lot of you because this is what I'm receiving is this if something some disaster is going to happen where our authority have to take um, have to find a balance you know when disaster happen in a country or something unexpectedly that has to do with accident people dying and that sort of a thing um, then um, or people in authority is going to be coming up and that's going to be in the second week is as if they're trying to balance out whatever this disaster is it's not really war it could just be a plane crash it could be um, a train crash it could be someone just driving in a crowd whatever the situation is there is just going to be some disaster that is coming up in the month of June so be aware of that then we have fate so obviously something unexpectedly happened and this is going to affect worldwide different countries different situation um, it could be also a flu a virus or something that comes out but there is going to be fate in the third week that this is going to be contained okay um, definitely faith that it's going to be contained then um, we have a lovely card at the end we have the energy of the eye princess that is coming in so obviously something is something traumatic could be happening 
um, with these energies something definitely traumatic could be out there now the last week is the energy of uh, in this last week you have really the energy of uh, the eye princess where this could be an alert of secrets coming out also okay so it could be um, an alignment of energies of secrets coming out whatever the situation is whatever is transpiring but you have fire twice fire then you have the energy of the star which is the universal angels and guides is bringing hope or faith to a situation and then you have the energy of the eye prince which is your intuition your spirit guides and that sort of a thing is working in the fourth week okay so there are different this is going to affect a lot of us in different ways because the energy of um, this is also the the energy of the fate the universal angels and guides is standing and protecting whatever is about to happen okay so be aware of this and then align yourself with the energy it could be affecting you it could be you trying to find strength with a situation uh, relationships a family situation work situation whatever it is and this is why I advise people to always pick up the on demand where there is extended information because the on demand tells about relationships and about love and about situation that's going to be affecting you okay so um, here in the situation we're going to be um, vitalizing looking at uh, what is transpiring what is this energy is bringing up and is bringing out okay so let's look the energy of the tower the energy of the tower it, it always have to do with something unexpectedly leaving your life so if you were in a legal situation okay now we have transition so obviously if you were in a legal situation or you were having to do with something to do with authority figure this is finally going to come to an end a transition is going to be coming in the first week going in the second week in the second week definitely if you have legal issues and that sort of a thing and it's about to end in the second week it's definitely going to be end because whatever that was affecting you um, in the month of May is going to come to an end and a transition is coming in it's not that something is going to end in your life it's not as if your work or that sort of a thing because the, the Emperor can have to do with that but um, it can be for a lot of you that there is going to be a stronger stability that is going to be coming in the energy of the hermit is coming in the, the second week going in the third week this is good because suddenly information suddenly breakthroughs information suddenly someone or um, some organization is going to be showing the truth to a situation okay suddenly um, it's as if authority people in authority are as if they found out the truth to a situation and that's why this transition is coming in so this month is going to be a month that is going to be affecting the Virgos and the Pisces the Virgos and the Pisces okay and I've been reading all these new age book and all of these things and I'm receiving the energy as the hermit is the Virgo now ladies and gentlemen the hermit is not the Virgo you know there's a lot because I'm reading all these book and the rest of it and going back from times and in the beginning and that's how I do research so I can bring out information and um, there's a lot of information out there but always the hermit is the mysticism the hermit is the Neptune the hermit is the unseen that is bringing light to a situation okay so in the second week going in the third week there is information that is going to be coming out definitely we have a situation with the lovers this can have to do with twin flame soulmate and family members okay so um, there is going to be fate if there was a family member that had some legal issues and that sort of a thing and first week of June this is going to be um, in balance and um, definitely this person is going to be released from whatever charges or whatever that was affecting them because the truth is going to be coming out 
so this is good and it's ob obviously um, it's going to be affecting most of you on a family family basis really immediate family um, it could be your partner it could be your children it could be your aunt it could be your sister it's a sibling so this sort of an energy but whatever and whoever it is definitely it's there's going to be a transition now as we look at the energy of the Emperor and the transition and the truth is coming out to a situation this is going to be bringing in um, a lot of money for some of you um, and sometimes crazy things can happen like accident but yet still um, it career and it's not good but if you notice all everything that have an action as a reaction and in this month whatever the reaction is it's going to create financial stability for some of you is as if some of you were really worked against through other people and people who use their power in the wrong way and um, in the second week you are going to, your financial stability is going to balance out and this is why the changes come in because with the changes uh, there is the truth that is going to be coming out about a situation so if you are incarcerated or if you get in conflicts with other people and that sort of a thing in the second week this is definitely going to be coming out and you're going to be paid for what has um, unjustly happens to you the energy of the Sun comes out here so you're going to be successful and what they're saying is that this is a month for that sort of a situation that is going to be happening because this is a general reading so try and pick up your own zodiac energy reading to find out if you are um, dealing with situations like this conflicts um, on on this honesty that has transfer trans you know it's like a transformation that is coming in and this is why this is the month of balance for a lot of you success is going to be coming in whenever the star and the Sun comes up this is positive news if you had health situation the third week you're going to be receiving news if you were on a line and in balance the third week you are going to be re aligned with yourself and things are going to be just flowing in a positive positive alignment of energies okay so this is um really really good and you know let's ask the angels and guides what is going to be the outcome so of uh, of this month of june in general what is going to be the outcomes that is coming up and the energy of the outcomes is a new start for a lot of people a new start it's as if the energy uh, the negative energies and whatever that was holding you back is basically re release in the first week okay so because there you were dealing with some unsavory situation it could be also someone who is an um, Aries that you were dealing with some of you or this was a group of people that was working with low energies of or low um, it was blocking you or had um, basically program you or whatever but you were connected with some people of low energy and this is going to release you so you're coming this month is ending on a very good note where um, transition is actually um, going to take place and this is going to be so wonderful so powerful because obviously there has been some um, injustice that is going to be balancing out and this is going to be good remember this is a general reading um and to know what is going to be happening for your zodiac sign you have to check out your own zodiac reader so a positive energies and let's align you guys with what the energy of the month is 14 so use 14 and 5 in this month um, four plus uh, one plus four is five so definitely it's a month of a transition okay it's a month of transition and the energy of that is here it's a month of transition the first week you're dealing with a fire energy okay and the fire energy is the energy of the tower where 
things are leaving your life for whatever reason it is things are definitely re leaving your life now some of you could be a, a dealing with a Pisces um, that could be leaving your with your life and uh, leaving your life but this situation what is transparent and what is coming up is it, it is a situation of a negative secrets a secret that would have, have been happening to you guys and some injustice that has been transpiring okay so we're not going to go deep in the general readings because it's just a general reading but um, some of you could be dealing with the Pisces or a Scorpio or a Pisces a Scorpio or a cancer who could be leaving your life but this is the energy of that is always the energy of the scorpions where an ending to someone who is a scorpion or a, if you are a scorpion and you had a horrible situation you were going through it's coming to an end in the first week of June okay so this is good I really don't know why I put my glasses on but it's okay now with that ending that is coming in the first week of june there is going to definitely be a transition with your financial situation and this is going to be aligning you on a positive direction um because it's as if this negative ending that comes in um has an effect on your materialistic position your money um your wealth and um with this um money that you will be receiving it's going to be moving you on a new direction so it's as if if you were in a legal issue or something like this or um there was um uh you were being caught up in a negative uh situation you are going to be receiving some extra help extra financial stability i'm seeing if your mom is a is a capricorn um you're going to be having a new start with this person so if your mom was a Capricorn you're definitely going to be having a new start with this person okay this person hasn't given up hope on you and this person is still there and aligned in you and um, whatever the situation is and this is going to affect a lot of you but if you're let's say um, you had a, a situation with your mom that is a a Capricorn is coming up because this person can be a Capricorn or a Taurus that the, there's gonna be trans transformation and a new start with this person as we look at the second week the second week obviously I'm seeing and this situation hasn't has nothing to do with um, it's, it's more of an authority um, someone in authority you in authority or someone that has used their power is as if this is going to be ending so someone used their power against you in whatever way and this is going to be ending okay and this is going to be good and and by the situation ending um, what is going to transpire is that your materialistic gains for some of you you're going to be having a situation with your mom your parents okay some of you are going to be having and working out situations with your parents and finding out the truth to a situation with your parents and this is going to be opening up new doors and uh, and and solution with situation with your parents because a lot of information is going to be coming out that you weren't aware of and um, a lot of information and this is going to bring an eel in between you and your parents so whoever is out there um a lot of you are going to be healing karmatic situation a relationship with your parents um let's say that some of you were adopted and then you're going to be meeting your biological parents or some of you are going to be going on a journey to find out something about your parents some of you could have been kept away from one of the parents and then you're going to be finding out the truth about your parents why whatever has transpired okay so it's all about healing with the parents in this you could be healing with your children or you could be healing with your parents okay or your children could be healing with you that's the energy that is coming out in the third week this is the week of the Aquarians whatever you decide to do in the second week and the first uh, the second week and the third week it's a yes go ahead so whatever you decide to do in the second week and the third week is a yes go ahead the energy of the Aquarians is coming up in this week where some of you could be helped by the Aquarians or some of you help 
you could be helping the Aquarians now the energy of the star is also the alignment of you and your angels and guides and they are saying have faith because the situation is going to be resolved so whatever that you have been dealing with um, uh, this situation is definitely going to be resolved because it's as if the spirit guides because these two together is definitely your spirit guides that is orchestrating and working together to balance out a situation and they're going to be bringing in the balance in the month of June so be aligned um, whenever these two energies comes up is that this is definitely going to be happening now a lot of success is going to be happening for um, a lot of you guys if you are working a business a project you're going to be very successful coming in the third week of June success is going to be yours okay now some of you who weren't feeling well you're going to be rebalancing and feeling balanced in the third week because this energy is definitely coming in um, some of you who weren't feeling yourself um, the first weeks um, the second week the third week you're going to be regaining a positive energy to um, to who you are is as if you're bringing back balance to, to your own self and grounding yourself and you're feeling feeling um, you know really extended some of you something uh, comes to light and people are going to start looking at you in a different light so it says oh my god I respect this person oh my god I had no idea this had transpired oh my god I didn't even know that these sort of things happen and that is what some of you are going to be receiving now to know who is going to receive this um, it's good to check out your home personal life personal readings and you can also ask for a personal re personalized reading for the month of, of um, June because you will get a um, day-to-day bowl by bowl what is happening week to week and also your financial situation your money how is it flowing is there blocks and that sort of a thing so it is also good to always get a monthly reading especially if you're uh, a business person trying to change something in your life or trying to build something or trying definitely okay so a lot of happy positive energies in the third week uh, um, and and the Aquarians um, you could be feeling a situation with your relationship in the third week also so you Aquarians you could be finding out and seeing the truth about your relationship in the third week so you Aquarians be aware and aligned with this now the Pisces is going to be bringing light to a situation in this one so if you are connected with the Pisces they're definitely going to be bringing some light to an issue and situation in your life so be aware and align with that energy now in the fourth week we are dealing with the energy of the eye princess and relationship okay so if some of you have an inkling over your kids that something is a little bit off or whatever if some of you had question about your health or the health of someone else or of your kids or some of you there is something about some of you have an inkling over a new start over a situation that is happening with your partner if you had an inkling whoever you are check out your zodiac energy vibration reader because the information in the fourth week is going to be coming out so be aware of this the fourth week is a week more of intuition and listening to your own um, guidance against someone else so in the fourth week whatever is happening listen to your own guidance better than someone else that is going to be coming in to give you guidance so definitely relationships in the last week third week going in the last week is going to be very very good especially Gemini some of you could be finding and meeting someone new so check out your own zodiac energy vibration reader the um there is a situation where the leos and the gemini's could be connecting in the last week so check out the moon readings for that and remember to always cross what subscribe because as soon as i um, s um you know update new videos or upload new videos you can be definitely notified at the same time i'm seeing really positive energies especially in the last week it is extremely extremely positive whatever is transpiring in the last week is extremely positive 
the effect of this month has to do with the um, Aquarians Aquarians oh definitely you Aquarians there is an effect that is happening with you guys there is a new start coming in in relationship for some of you Aquarians so it, um, some of you Aquarians whatever is transpiring in this one check out your own monthly readings um, with the extended day of the monthly readings there's always about love especially and there's also a free love reading because it's all about love and I started doing the love readings and uh, I was guided by the angels of love to do the love readings and the planet of Venus the energy of Venus to do the love readings because I carry the energy vibration of 33 6 which is the energy vibration of Venus okay um, so I give the um, the love readings free because love is the most powerful thing in this world I don't think people should pay and the only reason why you guys pay is basically a lot of people have been saying you know we will pay for the extended reading and this is why I basically started the extended reading because they were realizing that the, um, the amount but what is happening is that there is definitely for um, a lot of Gemini's there is going to be a new start in your relationship you're going to be seeing the truth about this relationship some of you are going to be ending relationships and, and, and starting new relationships where you decide to end and a, a relationship that was unhealthy and then a new relationship is going to be coming in for you okay just unexpected out of the blues just a new relationship is going to be coming in now I really have um, a lot of uh, energies um, this is also another new deck that I'm using and I love this deck and the reason why I love this deck is that um, I love um, the Buddha um, the because this is the Buddha the Buddhisma the wisdom of the Buddhisma okay and I love the um, the it's a culture it's a um because christianity and you have buddhism and i love the way the buddhism um if i should change from christianity i would have uh, choose to be um in the buddhist um that sort of uh, extended because i find out and i've studied with them i have a neighbor in Holland that is Buddhism and I remember she's the one who basically um, helped me to understand that I needed to let go of um, holding on to my mom when my mom passed away so and she started giving me these books to read and she's a Buddhist because she and I started understanding and this is this is you know really if you are want to study um, something the Buddhism the wisdom of the Buddhism is really one of the best I'm sorry I just got it today for you guys so um, and the first energy that comes out is um, the infinity of, of a Ganesh Ganesh um, removal of obstacles call on Ganesh to remove obstacles in your life and I love it this is like one of the first card that is coming out I love um, the Buddhism culture I love the way they think I love the way they understand and they respect everything around them Ganesh is, um, is this uh, elephant um, I, you know Hindus know um, that is a Hindu God and um, I really I can work with them because he's also an ascendance masters because he's in the deck of all ascendance masters from all different creation and Ganesh is also in the book he is the person or um, the this um, God that you can call up on and um, ask him to remove all obstacles out of your life okay they even have the fragrance that you can um, there's little oil so if you burn candles and you burn oil there is also I think a Ganesh oil and that sort of a thing okay I I am so connected with the Buddhist Buddhism and this culture so a lot of you get call up 
on Ganes, G-A-N-E-S-H, to remove all obstacles in your life. So whatever is happening, just call upon him to remove all the obstacles in your life. And this is going to be um, perfect, okay? And we're doing the green Tehara and the Buddhism of compassion in action. Compassion will action yield result, okay? So this is also one of the energies that you guys receive is that, and it is the green Tehara and um, the Hindu mention and the people who study Buddhism will know who this is and I have to go through the depth of this card because I'm seeing it's a beautiful deck already so these are the two energies that you guys receive from them and call upon the green Tahara and uh, compassion with action heal results so if you have compassion to a situation if you know that someone has done you some real nasty injustice but yet still you have compassion to this person um, by having compassion it actually clears the uh, situation with this person okay so you can call upon the angels of comfort or the angels of compassion to come in whenever you're dealing with situations like this okay um this is a wonderful deck i basically love it i saw it i didn't want it to open it somehow every time i pick it up to open it because i was checking out the rest of the stuff that i got i was thinking oh no i don't think i should open it and it says Ganesh is like the uncle who knows everyone and can introduce you to anyone. Whether I'm practical or want to work with a deity, they always ask Ganesh for help beforehand. Okay, so if you're going to start a project in this in this month, ask for ask Ganesh how to um deal with your project how to go ahead with your project okay is it is uh, an ascendance master okay so he's someone like the old uncle that give you the advice and then you can ask him he represent the hurt level of existence uh, where eating and food are a part of life his large ed shows his relationship to intellectual part of spiritual work elephant although massive are sensitive creatures as um, capable of picking up as a strawberry falling onto the ground but as pushed that illegal parking car from in front of your doorway so um it, you know like an illegal car or a car parked in front of your doorway and he will just you know and you will be sitting there and said I hope this person will just come and remove this car and all of a sudden um, you go to make dinner you come back and the car is um, the car <laughs> the car is uh, is not there anymore and and this is the help of Ganesh because he removes obstacles out of your way let's see what is the animal spirit guides and I'm doing two of both so that because some people um, are connected to some energies, some people are connected to the rest. And as always, here is two cards, and you need to choose one. Okay, so these are two cards. These are your animal spirit guides for this month. You need to choose one plus the one that is going to be coming up. So you have, if you choose this one, it's number seven. So you have the number seven energy to work with. It's called the whole spirit you see clearly now okay so remember what is this month this month is a month of balance and especially for psychic people the last week is going to be good um you're going to start seeing clearly you're going to the, all the obstacles are going to be lifting and you are going to be start seeing clearly if you choose card two it is the energy of uh, the whale spirit trust the great mystery trust the great mystery and this is sometimes we just don't trust the things unexpected things unexpected things happens and we never trust it and what the universe is saying and what your animal spirit guides is saying 
trust the spirit the number is six and five is eleven there is an opening there's a portal that is about to happen for you guys and this is going to be very good so if you choose this card you're definitely on your spiritual journey and you're working with the green tahara to um, bring back compassion and peace within you but also there is a spiritual alignment of energies that is going to be opening up and this could be affecting you in the in the last week okay but definitely this spiritual alignment that is opening up is going to bring you to a positive place moving forward and this is going to be good let's look at the ascendance masters and the last one we have is the star seed so um i try to get in all um the um interdimensional um things from the not the modern world so that you guys can have an alignment of knowing what I'm using the deck of the essential deck okay this is by a Diana Cooper one of my favorite persons so let's see what two energies wants to come out to align this month um, it is um, the golden ray of Christ so this is a wonderful positive energy to say and if you're in situations if even you're going to bed you can say I am the golden ray of life I am the golden ray of life I am the golden ray of life it is so and it will be and you have to say this three times and then it is so and it will be um, because this is you're calling up on the Christ light and especially for you light workers you need to do this like frequently um, daily um, I am the golden silver boiler frame as we check out what other energies is coming up for this month for the ascendance masters um, then you guys have the 12 chakra and um, whatever is happening definitely because um, also from the deck of the Buddha wisdom the chakras was also staring at me and it was like you need to say over the chakra you need to tell them to work on the chakra and um, here you have the 12 chakras so um, your affirmation is I awaken my 12 fifth dimension chakras and this is saying it three times I awaken my 12 fifth dimension chakras I awaken my 12 fifth dimension chakras and I'm asking the angels to sing over me so that my chakra will align in the right energy vibration this is also another chakra energy from the Buddha so we have the ascendance masters working on your chakras and we have the energy of the Buddhas also working on the 12 chakras ask the angels to sing over you so that your chakra can align with the vibration of the fifth dimension frequency this is the back of the card i think it's a beautiful card i'm going to be doing uh unbox i unboxed it here anyway so the chakras and the four guiding angels okay the chakra and the four guiding angels and it says call upon the guiding angels of your physic your psychic energy so um you know some of you who are psychics or are spirit um light workers like myself i guess this is a message for you because there's a lot of light workers who listen to like the general energies so you need to call up on um your guiding angels of your psychic energies so that they can come in um, I think there is an alignment of energies that is going to be happening in the last week of June for all light workers out there okay so if you're on a good part being a light worker you are going to be more it's as if your energy level is going to become really to the fifth dimension is this so it is a ship of paragon that is going to be happening ladies and gentlemen leave a message let me know how this reading was and um, I want to wish you a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful month of June. Namaste until next time.